Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. So today I wanted to talk about something that's very, very important to me and that is finding your passion. So a few years ago, someone told me that um, I couldn't love myself until I knew kind of who I was and that kind of triggered like a, oh my gosh, I don't know what I enjoy. I don't know what I like in life. And so that started my little journey to find my passion. So when finding my passion, I wasn't really sure where to look. And so I started to read personal development books. And at this point now in my life, I've probably read like, I don't know, like 10 or more personal development books. And um, I have learned a lot through those. And I, I, they touch my heart because they're so important to me and they like preach positivity. And that's something that I want to preach to people. And I don't know it just it really helped me figure out who I was so starting off I kind of found like a little biography of someone and um, it was just talking about how this person like found their passion and I was like oh okay well that will be good for me because I don't know what my passion is so that was like the first little step to that and then once I realized I liked that type of book I ended up buying actual personal development books. Um, I'm not sure if I have any of them here with me, but um, I really, really enjoy them and I love having deep, like deep rooted um, conversations or like I love reading something that's very deep and intricate and very vulnerable and just like puts you out of your comfort zone even though you are not the person that's like in the book talking about themselves or like maybe you are feeling everything that the book is saying and it like speaks to you i don't know i just really enjoy that sort of stuff and so that started my little journey to begin reading personal development now once i found personal development i ended up also starting to journal now i don't i didn't really start journaling every single day it was just like if i felt like i needed to journal i would journal and then through the little way, I ended up finding some books that were um, kind of like, they gave you prompts to read or to write about, and then it would give you like a little something to do during that week or that day to think about, maybe to act on, whatever, and it just made you feel a lot better and it made you like put your mind at ease and put like whatever you had deep down in your heart or like maybe you were feeling things in your gut and you just like, weren't sure what to do with your life, it helped you kind of figure out what to do. And so, along that way, I ended up also finding this book um, called Bella Grace. I, I have, I don't know, I love them. I have read multiple, multiple, multiple editions. It's a magazine and they do it by the summer, spring, fall, winter, what have you. And they always put out one and it's, it's basically just people who find the little simple things in life that are so majestic and magical and like beautiful and they just make it all seem so, so precious and glorious and it just puts everything in a positive mindset. And so I started reading that sort of stuff and I got freaking addicted to it. So after that, I, you know, obviously I became really interested interested in reading and I used to hate reading so it was kind of weird for me but once I got into that I ended up starting to try to figure out what I wanted to do with my life and so in my little stress anxiety struck self I ended up starting to exercise now while I was, I was also exercising I was also having health issues with my stomach so it ended up changing my diet I had to start eating very very healthy and because I was eating healthy I ended up feeling better and I ended up starting to exercise every single day now that was not necessarily like my favorite thing on earth but it became something I'm very very passionate about now it's been a year or so since I started strictly strictly like doing my exercise routines and um, I still eat very healthy, very nutritious meals to this day. And it's something I'm very passionate about. I love health and fitness. I love feeling good. I love helping people feel better. And through that, I also found yoga. Now I've done yoga like my whole life, just casually going to random classes, 
But once I started doing my, like exercising every single day, I felt like I needed to stretch and yoga was kind of where I went to, to get my little like stresses out and just to kind of relax and feel better, do some meditation. And so I started to do yoga pretty much every single day. I either would go to a class or I'd do a video online, like I'd find something on YouTube or maybe I like would follow someone on Pinterest or look at Instagram or something and I would follow whatever they did and it made me understand what I was doing and it helped me to be interested in yoga. And now I do yoga literally every single day, like multiple times a day. It's, it's honestly my favorite thing on earth to do. It's something I'm very, very passionate about and it's something that I like don't like to go a day without doing because it just makes me feel so much better and it like releases all my stresses and it just brings my mood up and makes me positive. And I also have started the process of uh, becoming a yoga teacher. So I've been very, very, very adamant on doing my own yoga practice and soon, I am going to be going to Bali to get my yoga certification. I'll be getting my 200 hours and I'm so excited about it because it's something that I am fully, fully, fully driven in. And I just, I love it so, so much. So this summer I'm gonna be going over to Bali for three weeks. I'll be staying there and doing my yoga training. It's gonna be pretty strict and pretty much like all the time will be yoga or it'll be learning. Um, so I'm really excited and it's gonna be all like healthy food too, which is something I'm super, super pumped for because I cook all my food and I'll be really excited to see ways that people else, like other than here, cook their healthy vegetables and such. And so anyways, I just wanted to let you guys know that I am, I'm going to be going to Bali this summer and um, I am just so excited because I finally found my passion. It's taken me like, I don't know, three years or so to kind of figure out what I like and what I want to do with my life. Um, but it's something that I am so proud of and I've fully like immersed myself in and I have put all of my time and effort into and I just cannot wait to start teaching people. Anyways, so the whole point of this whole little story is that it's really important to find your passion and that if you have no idea where to start to look for your passion I totally suggest personal development I know like there's kind of some weird stigmas about personal development like it's I don't know whatever but I love it and I have come to completely appreciate it I listen to audiobooks on tape all the time with I don't know either yoga or like personal development type things going on in it and it just makes me feel better especially if you're driving, like it gives you something to do for however many hours you're driving. And it's just like a positive thing to think about. And so anyways, I think that it would be very helpful if you have no idea where to start, read some personal development, start journaling. I know that can be hard because you don't wanna put all of your emotions out there sometimes, but it'll help you kind of figure out what you're feeling and what you need to do. And um, if you like this video, I hope that you try these things out and I know they help me so I really hope that they help you guys out too so anyways thank you so much for watching and I hope that you guys find your passion like I did and I'll see you guys next time bye